Hi Sagittarius, my name is Sweet Kings. We're gonna be doing your July 2018 reading. Let's get right to it. What is the overall energy for Sagittarius for July 2018? Oh, that's a lot, but the higher was on top, so let's see. You guys are rebuilding from a some sort of fall now this could be physically or like <clears throat> financially spiritually um, emotionally but yeah some some sort of like real sense of defeat within the recent past happened or in the recent past, not within the recent past. Some sort of defeat in the recent past happened. And it forced you to rebuild and really look at something from a new angle. So you have the strength and the eight of wands. So whatever it was that knocked you down, forced you to or is gonna force you. Cause I feel like this is now um, July's energy. It's gonna force you to um, really put some heavy, heavy hitters. Suckers, all right, no, I'm stopping. <laughs> Let me, um, it's really gonna put some like heavy energy, like a, like a, like a fire under your butt, okay? It's really gonna put a fire under your butt and it's gonna force you to get up. Cause you look at the Ten of Swords, it's defeat, like I said. But then you have the Strength card. All right. Where you're forced to rebuild. Like you cannot stay down, Sagittarius, the star. You cannot stay down. You cannot let this defeat or this trip you know trip and fall this accident this health condition this um emotional sadness this financial drought you can't let it you know keep you down and with that hierophant pop um that flipped out oh justice at the bottom of the deck but with that higher film that i saw earlier and with this star i feel like this is going to be you um calling in your team more like doing more rituals especially if this was about health i see you doing more rituals You're really asking an outside source for help now, cause within you, you you feel like your your battery is low, so you really need help outside. So you're willing to do the rituals now, okay? You're re you're really willing to um make the right decisions with this justice card, uh, <clears throat> or make decisions that are gonna be for your highest good. All right. Because this suffering was extensive. Ooh. The fool just flipped by accident. This was extensive. This was something that you were in. I feel like this position, you were in it for too long. And it could be with a relationship that you were in for too long. And you realize that it was really just draining you like literally draining you to zero because <clears throat> the ten of swords is like that energy is it's so heavy that it just brought you to your knees okay and then you had this fool where like i said you're gonna be forced to move forward because you can't stay down all right 
So you're willing to do the rituals, willing to do whatever it is you got to do because you were treated unfairly. Or you feel that you've been, you know, dealt a bad hand. You just feel like you have, um, you know, bad luck or your, your life is so serious. I feel like you want to add more fun into your life. All right. Like, you feel like you always have to be the bigger person. You always have to be the leader of something. You always have to be the example when you just want to be the one having fun. And sometimes when you do have fun, <clears throat> people are looking at you like, well, I need you to do this. And you're like, but I just, I just got started. Like, it's not fair. <laughs> Sounding like a Libra. It's not fair. Right? So this Six of Swords definitely wanted to come out because it was right underneath the Justice card. So this is definitely you drawing in uh, positive energy, like I said, with those rituals. So you're definitely going to be doing some magic, some prayer work, some meditation, some yoga, some breathing. That's something we can... We all can do, um, you know, breathing exercises on a daily basis. Let's see what else. Sagittarius. Would you like? Would you like? Teresa. So this is just really going back to uh, you picking yourself up off the ground with this Ten of Swords energy and moving right into the pool because you went from 10 to 0 and then you can only, I feel like you're only going to progress from there, alright? So you really ended something or you're about to end something because it is way too much at this point. And you need to just <laughs> jump off the cliff, okay? Damn it. There might be a mattress under there. <laughs> there might be something cushiony, you know, at the end of this cliff. But I just know that this ish right here, this ish right here, was too much. It was too much. And I don't want to have to be in a position where, uh, you know, this is you saying this to yourself. I don't want to be in a position where um, I have to always pick up the pieces and always like, I hear crash landing though. Like this time, that's why the mattress came up. This time you want the mattress to be there. You're tired of just, you know, going and then building from there. Like, you just want to ease into something new without it having to be so scary. So, I don't even think I explained this card. So, you have Ariel, which speaks about new psychic and spiritual experiences, you know, shaping the way you believe, um, the way you think, I should say. So, yeah. Oh, and it says prayer, meditation, study. So, definitely, like I said, this is you calling in the extra help and protection because you know you got to take care of yourself with Teresa and Teresa says time out you've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself okay like uh, it doesn't get more um you know self-explanatory than that because uh, this ten of swords just keeps sticking out to me it's just like this feeling of defeat is just so hard to swallow you know taking that L is just too much so again Sagittarius overall energy for July I see you getting over some past hurt 
I see you realizing that you no longer uh, want to be in a position where you have to fall and rebuild. Like that tower energy. I feel like the tower, even if the tower was to pop out, it would have been more positive than, you know, this ten of swords. Because I feel like the tower um, at least shows you that it wasn't built on a... A stable foundation with this ten of swords I feel like it's betrayal like it was just a false mask like it was someone pretended to be something a situation was presented to you a certain way and it had you believing that it was this way so you thought it was stable but it was it backfired in some way all right so in July they want you your team really wants you to <clears throat> you know, focus on rebuilding yourself and ask for support. They're here to help, you know. And allow them to refill you. Allow them to take you on this journey with the Six of Swords. You know, put your trust in your team. You're going out to sea in this little boat with all them swords that could cut up the boat, but somehow you're being asked to trust and you, you have no, um, you really have no choice but to do it with the strength card. You really have no choice but to trust because I feel like if you let it go, the situation is just gonna keep coming back to haunt you, all right? And you know, you know it. Like your intuition is telling you something's got to give. Something has to be solved. What is it that has to come up to be cleared? Because right now I can't keep taking these L's. You know, I can't keep taking these emotional um, blows from people. All right. So let's move on to love. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What's going on, Sagittarius? No. damn card again <laughs> it's coming back to haunt me all right Sagittarius so this situation I feel like this one's calling me as well the damn high priestess Sagittarius I feel like this is a love situation that just got you got you real stupid <laughs> I don't know how else to put it but it got you real uh foggy-minded, okay? You feel like it's not over until somebody wins by this term of in conditions. It's a weird game that's being played right now between you and a partner. And it's a lose-lose situation, to be honest. Both of you guys are just... Ex exerting toxic energy to yourself and to each other and it's just creating a toxic environment for anybody you know all the people around you just became collateral damage because you two are just yeah what the hell man <laughs> that's what i feel like it's just like <laughs> fix it fix it sagittarius get out of the situation and if, all right, if you didn't get out, please get out. <laughs> but um, don't allow things to get to this energy. 
if you feel it coming and you sense these things and you've been feeling this for however long, whether it be one week you saw this person's fishy behavior and then it lasted for how long, it does not matter. If you are sensing trouble, exit. Don't let it kill you. Kill the situation before I kill you, okay? Damn it, Sagittarius. I feel like I've been giving you the same message. Sick of this. Let me clarify a few Look, the sun. All right, so you. I feel like this is either one of you guys still wearing the rose-colored glasses that something's going to get better. Yes, I feel defeated and unhappy as... <laughs> but something's going to get better. It, it'll get better. Really? Like, you're going to keep getting closer and closer to the dream. Like, it'll get better. You get, this is you getting closer to the sun. It'll get better. It'll get better. Oh, my God, it burned. Stop, <laughs> like stop playing with fire, okay? If you feel, like I said, if you feel that something is fishy and you feel that something is toxic, stop playing with fire. Come on, you're an adult, I hope. <laughs> you're an adult. You know, use that emotional intelligence that you have. Don't go into childish behaviors with this person. Because you guys are trying to play the one-up game. And also, I do feel like for some of you guys, there's going to be a child, a secret child revealed. Okay? With this Ten of Swords <clears throat> and then this High Priestess. And in this sun, <laughs> I feel like you've already been feeling this energy. You've been feeling something's up. This is you in between. And you've been feeling these energies around you sneaking off. Uh, well, this could be both. Sneaking off and trying to have fun, sunshine, without you. While you're at home hurt, wondering why you know, they're doing this to you. Why you're feeling this way. But Sagittarius, you know what's going on. I don't know what is so toxic about this person. Like what, what has a hold on you that you're just ignoring your intuition to play this stupid game. I'm going to say it again. You're going to listen to me. Feel something is up. Kill it before it kills you. Okay. Damn the Sagittarius. All right. Let's see. What else you got? What else you got? What else said? Sagittarius, some of your ancestors are going to give you a spiritual beating. <laughs> I just have to say it. That's what's coming to me. All right. They are just looking at you like. And this is for you guys who refuse to let go. This is for you guys who are playing this, this weird game. They are just sitting back like. So all this knowledge I gave you. All this guidance you was asking for, this leadership, you know, you, you, you said you was going to take my hand and follow me. You remember that? So what happened? 
do I have to cause this in order for you to listen to me? All right, this card is speaking about uh, deceased loved ones, you know, loved ones um, in the other realms. Do they have to really like expose this person fully and have you crying your eyes out in order for you to really learn? Because like I said, this is them watching you. This is you crying, crying over spilled milk, crying over things you already know about. Look at her face. She know. I know it's kind of blurry, but she know what's up. They know what's up. But it's just you doing the same thing over and over, hurting yourself. Putting yourself in toxic situations where everyone and everything outside of the situation is collateral damage. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> okay, since this car wants to come out so much. Kill it before it kills you, okay? And I feel like that's it, Sagittarius. I need to be stern with you. But anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that very stern but love loving reading, okay? Uh, if you want to book a personal reading with me, my information will be down below. Also, I have a daily tarot page, so if you're interested in daily readings, Follow me on Instagram at underscore Sweet Kinks Tarot. Again, that is underscore Sweet Kinks Tarot. Bye. <laughs>